yes i know it's been a minute since y'all had a video uploaded and i do apologize but i got sick with the flu then the next week my two-year-old got sick with the flu and then my 12 year old got sick with strep throat so i've been playing mommy and doctor and trying to doctor on myself as well to get me back to good health so that I can record for you guys. I miss you guys though. Okay. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to cook something that I do not eat. I do not eat these things. But when my mother asked me to cook them for her, you know, I must be obedient. So I do that. I know how to cook them. I just do not eat them but they are pig feet and pig tails I just got sick thinking about it <laughs> anyways so with no further ado let's just jump right into this video now to start off I have washed and clean these pig feet and these pigtails I have washed and cleaned them thoroughly okay thoroughly you want to make sure you do that before anything I just did mine off camera just to save me just a little time because I have to cook my dinner for my family tonight besides this so to start off I have no water in here yet but I have some cider vinegar I'm going to take and I'm going to pour two cups. That's one. Oh, well, I might as well pour it off. But two cups of vinegar in there okay next I'm going to go fill this up with the water so I'll be back okay so I filled my pot up with water you want to cover the pig feet so your two cups of vinegar and enough water to cover your pig feet pig tails pig ears whatever part of that pig you want to eat okay so um, I have just some kosher salt here. I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt. And I have crushed red peppers. And I'm just gonna sprinkle these in here. And you want to turn your eye on high. You want to place the top on it and you want it to allow you want it to boil now depending on how many you have depend on the cook time I don't have that many so I'm really you know not a hundred percent sure of the cook time but I will you know check on it periodically let you guys see and also I will let you know the cook time once it's done okay so sit back and enjoy our pig feet and pig towels has been cooking for one hour thus far. When I started out, I started out on high. And then once it got to a hard boil, I did turn my eye down to medium high heat. So this is what it looks like as of now. So they are cooking really good. Let's see if I can pick one up for you guys. That's what it looked like. Um, I don't know if that's a feet or a tail. I couldn't tell you. That's what it looked like. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little more water, just a little, not a whole lot.
add a little water and we're gonna allow it to boil for another 30 to 40 minutes so place the top back on and allow it to cook our pig feet has boiled for an hour sorry about the camera it's gonna clear up bear with me bear with me bam for an hour and 30 minutes now what we're going to do is take them out of this pot and I have a glass bowl here and I'm just going to lay them over in this glass bowl now that I have transferred my pig feet and pig tails from my pot to my pan I took some of the water from the pot here and I placed it in this measuring cup so I got about um, a half a cup here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna base it over here over top of the pig feet and pig tails mm-hmm like so and I'm going to get my vinegar here and I'm gonna do a half a cup of vinegar as well And then I'm just going to base it with a half a cup of vinegar. Like that. I was told. Next, I'm going to put my oven on 375. And I am going to place this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. And I'll be back. It's been 20 minutes. Our pig feet are out of the oven. They are completely done. They have a good color to them. They done. And they are ready to be eaten by whoever eats them. But not me. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. But anyway, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of these pig feet and pig tails. Until the next time, until the next video, thanks for watching. Bye!